Mrs. Karibu. There is a day you shall bow before the Father, and you shall tell the Father, Here I am. There is a preacher I love called Priscilla Charlotte. He said, I don't want to bow before God and be ashamed. I don't want to bow before the Father and feel ashamed. No, I shall stand before God that day of judgment because every knee shall bow. Each one of us shall bow before him and you shall be answerable of what you did for the work of the kingdom. Not the car you drove, not where you stayed, not who you relate with. No, you shall bow before him as an individual and be answerable to God for the assignment you did for the kingdom. Not all of us are called to preach. Not all, we are called differently. I will show you briefly what you are called to do. But that's what you are called to do. There is somebody who has been given that assignment to oversee you. So in IIVC, we have a covering. We have a cover. He prays for us. She seeks God on our behalf. But what are you doing as a son? When you shall be for God, you shall not bow before him. You shall not bow before her. But you shall bow before God. What will you be answerable for? What will you be answerable for? The Bible says Jesus and this time we are going to put daddy as Jesus. He is not Jesus. I always tell him, daddy, I will work. But I'm not working for you. I want to hold your hands so that the vision God gave you can come to pass. Because I was called to partner with you for this vision comes to pass. All things we do, everything we have worked to doing, from day one to where we are today, those who have worked with us, he has never told us to do. No. Even when we call you, he calls you. He's so pressed. When he sees you calling you, giving you an assignment, it's because he's so pressed. He doesn't know what to do. He has to cry out. But he was not called to cry out. He was called to read us as we do what God gave him to do. That is the responsibility of the sons. And each one of us is gifted differently. When this vision was laid up, you were brought to the church with a different gift to see this vision come to pass. That is your responsibility. You don't have to be pushed to do it. You shall be answerable to God because God is the giver. We are given different visions, different gifts, different talents for the body of Christ. What is your responsibility? What is your responsibility? What is that God has trusted you to do? And are you doing it? Because that is what you shall take before the Father. Whenever we have a meeting with Dad, I always tell Dad, Dad, heaven is not in Boda Farm. No, heaven is before God. And each one of us will be answerable to God, not to Him. Ask yourself. We have our brethren who have gone to be with the Lord. As they shall stand before God. Heaven, Akuna IVC. Uh -uh. Heaven is the gift God has given you. What are you doing with it? I want us briefly to look at the life of Peter. Is it okay? The life of Peter. Jesus looked and asked them. People can say who you are. Everybody can talk about Jesus Christ. But you who walk with me. Who do you say I am? Because whom you say I am matters because I am entrusting you with the ministry when I go back to the Father. Whom do you say I am? Because who you say you am matters in the things of the kingdom. When you are a VC as a son, whom do you say you are? Because who you say you are is the, rest, the level God will come down to you because it's an assignment God gave to you. It's not that who gave us assignment. It is God who gave us assignment. And Peter said, you are Jesus Christ, the son of God. And Jesus told people, under that revelation, shall I build my church. Because Peter, you know who I am. Because you know whom I am. That revelation is what I will build my church on. Which revelation do you have that God can build you on? Because that is the responsibility of sons in the house. 
What revelation do you have? What do you do so that God can build yourself on? The rock. I will build my church on there. How did Peter build the church? Remember, Peter built the church on the revelation that you are Jesus, the rock. How did he build the church? Because Peter was a son to Jesus. He was not the son of God. He was a son in the ministry. He was part of the disciples. They were the twelve that we are to usher the church. So as a sons, let us put ourselves in the hands of Peter and ask ourselves if we are to be entrusted with, by God, not our dad and money, to be entrusted by God to carry on this work, what shall you base yourself on? We look at the Peter. Peter says, how do you feel the church? When Jesus ascended to the heaven, their responsibility Peter was left with to usher the church. I love the character of Peter. Peter always arose. Everything arose. He made many mistakes the way I do. He made many mistakes the many I do. But there's something in him that God contrasted Peter with to build his church. Can you be entrusted by God when he is not there to carry on the work God has given you as a son. I'm sharing on the assignment of sons. Let us look at the book of Acts chapter 1 verses 21. The book of Acts chapter 1 verses 21. Now, Already Jesus has ascended to the heaven. And now there was a gap to be filled. And that is the gap of Judas. That was the gap of Judas. Peter said, therefore, it is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time when Jesus went in and out among us. One of the best, one first assignment of Peter as a son was to fill the gap. He was to fill the gap because they walked 12. But one of them has left. So how do I fill the gap? One thing he looked at, he said, assignment here, Peter was, Peter was given the work of putting the disciples as one. Can we be one as sons? We are gifted differently. We do things differently. But can we be one? Because one of the assignments was Peter as a son was to put all the disciples together in unity. Can we be in unity? We have different gifts. We have different talents. Can we be in unity? Because for God to use you, we must be one because we are gifted differently. And we need each gift in one of us. We need that gift individually in each one of us. We need it. Can we be one? Can we be one? And because they remained one, they were equipped the same. They were equipped the same. I'll show you, when you remain one as sons, when you bring your gifts together as son, God will equip you in oneness. There is no gift that is higher than other. There is no gift that is lower than other. No, we are all equipped as sons because we are under one cover. And God has gifted us differently. Let us respect each other. It doesn't matter what you do in the church. As far as you are working, you are equipped for that assignment. Let us respect each other departments. Let us respect each other. Let us not kill each other. Let us encourage each other because that is the work of Peter and we are Peter in IBC. Bringing the disciples together so that they can be equipped together. We need to be stay in unity. We 
are equipped differently. That is why we speak different languages. Ata ndimi zenye mungu wa natujaza nazo hasifanani. Ata kupatia ndimi kuligana na assignment yako. If you are not a prophet, you not say he this year is the Lord. But if you are a counselor, you will still I feel in my heart you have a problem. We have different languages. But we are one because we are sons. Because of unity and because of them taking responsibility as son, they ushered the first church. Peter made sure because he was a son and Jesus has less the responsibility, they ushered the first church. And 3,000 people came to be with the Lord because Peter took his responsibility as a son. On this log shall I build my church. We have a vision. We have the best. And I can assure you, I love the Lord. I see God. I hear the ministries. If there is a gift we have, God has given us as an IFC. We have very good spiritual parents. And I can assure you. I can assure you. I have been in this church from day one. I can assure you. I may be nobody, I may not have a name, but there's one thing I always know. I have spiritual parents and I am secure. I am secure. In your hands, we are very secure. We are very secure. It's only that we speak different languages. But when all is said and done, we are very, very secure. Number one. When he filled the gap, that is Acts chapter 125. I have only 10 minutes. Alash. Yeah, I'm looking at the time. Daddy, 10, 10. 10, yeah, 10. What is my 15? 10. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Simuacha kuteka jama, nintapote. He filled the gap. One thing people did, he filled the gap. How did he fill the gap? And this is a challenge for each one of us. When you are looking for the people to work with in the department that God has called you, be careful. Who are you putting in your team? Because you have to put somebody who has what you have. You have to put somebody who has what you have. Don't put somebody in your team na hiyo si kazi enye ameitiwa. You always quarrel. Because there's something about you that is not flowing. Sinikweli. Something that is just flowing. You must ask yourself, as you come together as a son, as you do what you do as sons, the team that you have, do you, are you of one language? Are you of one language? Peter said, the gap Jesus Judas left must be filled. Who should fill it? There was requirement. So every people who are joining us, those who have walked in this vision together, there are some things that we must do. There are some things in life that we have to look at. One thing Peter said, we must look for somebody who identifies with the ministry. The Bible says, from the John the Baptist to the ascending, in short, he has a... Com I think let us read that. Verses 21. Acts chapter 1, verses 21. Because this is very important as sons. This is very, very important as sons. And I'll ask you, if you have identified with this vision, if you are committed in this vision, no matter what you go through, I'll ask you for one thing. Stay. Stay in the vision. Stay. And I will show you today the benefit of staying. I am not very good. I told you. It takes the grace to survive with me. This time I told that me naenda. Can you do naenda wabi? Ka. Usifanya kitiote ka. I want to see you seated. Heal. Arise. But don't leave. Where are you going? Where you go? I am not there. Because you don't have a cover in short. 
That time I didn't know. Today I find this way to talk. Because I know what it means to serve God. Don't serve them. Serve God. It doesn't matter. Serve Him in pain, in everything. But stay. Stay. Don't go. Stay. Ata huko ni kusuri daika kumi. 30 minutes. Unarudi. Stay. As a son, you fight from within. As a son, you fight from within. Because when you believed in IVC, you believed in the vision. Die for the vision. The disciples died for the vision. Die for it. When Peter was looking for somebody to replace Judas, let me show you what he said. Therefore, it is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time. Amen? When they were replacing Judas in the team, see our coke in the team so that they can be 12. This was the requirement. Therefore, it is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. You have to be part of us. For you to be entrusted, you must have been part of us. See where when it is a man, you have no idea you cannot be a chairman. You cannot be a chairman. From the time of John the Baptist to the ascending, in short, he has to have a commitment to the vision. Understanding the assignment. You must understand the assignment of IVC if you have to be a son. You must understand the assignment. Don't just come in and start telling who you weka, who you haba, weka, who you haba. Ata huweleru, unapata mudu, unamuli, excuse me, do you understand what you are doing? Because you don't know the assignment. Before you take responsibility as a son, understand the assignment. You must understand the assignment God has given you. I love Ted. I have not seen Ted today. I always tell Ted, and Victor, where is, the, where is the other one? You know, just who are doing my dinner. These two, I'm always on them. Because these boys are worshippers. They are worshippers. Pastor Bonet, you can agree with me. When Ted is on this keyboard on Kesha, we pray. I told them, I always encourage them, watch any kurukaruka, how do you tell There's something about you. That is your assignment. I push them every day. I tell them, let us worship. Let us worship. You are worshipers. Worship because God will find you on your assignment. What is your assignment as a son? What is your assignment? Do you understand the assignment of IBC? Before you take any responsibility, understand the spirit that works here. And this one I will teach you. Because what has failed us as sons in the house, not to take the responsibility that we are supposed to take as a son, is something we have never understood. And this one I'll say it because my father is seated like One thing that we don't understand about IVC, we don't understand the spirit that works in this church. What has made department fail? It is because it is because we don't understand the spirit that works in this house. And I'll tell you today, the way they brought us up, because I've been with them over 25 years, so I can say is this, Daddy does not follow you to do an assignment. He gives you an assignment, he trusts you with it. Do it. Stop calling him, nifanya nini, nimekwama, aa, ukikwama, jikwamwe. And move on. He has brought us as, I have laid a foundation for you. I have done it for you. Don't you have eyes, see, and work. When you hear about his testimony, when he was having after Pastor Rai, he always say, I used to wake up, even come a pastor like Hajui, that is how he works. Understand their spirit and move as a son. They will find you along the way. Me, they find me along the way. I'm not saying I am good. No. 
because I have stayed with them, I have understood. This is what they desire. And because I made up a decision, I'm going to stay in IVC, then this is what I am about to do. I'll do this. Let me make mistakes along the way. Let them correct you making mistakes. But please, be doing something. Be doing something. Understand the spirit that works. If they call you, it's because they don't know what to do. They have to call somebody. They have to call somebody. Tell, go and tell them, Daddy, me, I, always, I always in his office, Daddy, I feel I want to do this. What do you think? You could have done it. I was thinking, how do I do it? But I've done it. Not because you have money. No. Begin. Somehow God will find you along the way. Spirit as a son. Hey, dai katano. Dai. Stop. Number two. Number two. They were gathered in one place. In the day of Pentecost, they were gathered in one place. We are gathered today. We are gathered today as IVC Church. Hakuna mtu alikuja hapa na hakujua kwenye anaenda na kama ulikuwa unajua uendi roho amekuleta they we are gathered in one place Peter made sure and we said Peter when i say Peter we are talking about sons Peter made sure they we are gathered in one place whenever you go whatever you do identify this as your church Ata ukienda kuja this is home if you are a little son, if you are a little son, like in kama ona kujanga ibada ni sawa, but if you are a little son, let us remain in unity. Let us remain united. If you have to succeed as a son, you must remain united. The day of the Pentecost, when Jesus said, "Tarry in Jerusalem." Don't leave. Tale in Jerusalem. Because I will send a helper. They were united. When they were filled with the Holy Spirit, in the day of Pentecost, Hakuna Atamoja Arikua Inje. All of them were in the upper room. All of them. All of them were in the upper room. If the disease come out, all of you, wait for me. Carry this vision for you. When God comes, we will find all of us busy doing what you are called to do. If you have to be raised to the next level, the next level, because the, the night of Pentecost was to be raised to the next level, to the assignment God is giving you, the question I'm asking you, if this, the, the Spirit of God will fall on us like the day of the past Pentecost, we will find us all in one place and united as sons of IBC. We will find us united and in one accord. Will He find us? Because if we are not united, if we are not in one accord, Roho Hata Kuja. Daddy Hananga Roho Yake, Mam Hana Roho Yake, Mungu Hata Sukisha. Atakushukia. Do you ever sit down and ask yourself, do God give you assignments? I see assignment. You know, in the morning as I was preparing, somebody was singing. And I have come to realize the many songs we sing are about us. You really find somebody singing a song of God. Ni inue, ni bariki, wenye wananitukia wanione. You know, you can never hear somebody singing, God, give me your assignment. You know, we must have a spirit of Caleb who said, give me this mountain. There's nobody who sings, God, send me, I'm waiting. But you don't understand what it's saying. Peter made sure they remain one. Peter made sure that the grace coexisted between them. The grace of God coexisted between all of them. I'm talking about the 12 disciples. It coexisted between them. You must be so drunk with what God has called you to do as a son 
for you to see God in the next level. For you to be able to see God in the next level. You must have that grace of coexistence. There is one person I really admire in this church. I don't know that she's here with us. Mrs. Wilberforce. This one thing he always tells you. I am the one who gives them soap to clean the church. Monday, Tuesday, they do the cleaning. Swali yao inakuanga tu moja. Sasa watu walipeleka wapi makaraja. Ali sata paipo hatu won. You know, there is a time I find them bothered when the balcony was going on. How watu walichukua paipo, wakakatakata. They were so bothered. Nani alichukua paipo? They are not bothered on who is doing the construction. They are not bothered about anything. They are bothered. What are our equipment? Where are they? And I told them, don't worry, I'll buy you a new pipe. Because you have a zeal for God. Nobody supervises you. Nobody looks at what you do. They can tell you, I will buy you that pipe. Because what you do, I did it in prayer mountain. I bought for them a pipe. Because Miss Wesi Yosha, Siku yangu ya kuosha, idisha nye ata mugogo yenyewe kuinama hapa, si raisi. Tuoge, AJ is cutting up with us. But what we are, they are doing, we did it. God raised us to a higher level of ministry. God guided us to a different level of ministry. But you have to remain faithful to that course you are doing. Ha, watu wakua wanapiga kelele. They never call the construction team. They never call the everybody. They ask, sasa wamefuja makara yetu yote, wamefuja dasta yetu yote, what do we do? Nika also, what can I do for you? Let's buy for you a pipe. Ingini hata nyini unuweni. Commitment to assignment. Not looking at where have you failed. No. Looking at the area of life where I have been called. They coexisted. We must coexist with each other. They were all equipped because of being one. The Holy Spirit came upon them. And they were filled all together. They had one heart. They had one vision. For us to achieve and move forward as a team... We must be equipped, equipped by our submission. And I want to talk about submission. We must be submit. Our submission to this IBC has to be to two people. Two people have been given this assignment. Two people have been called for this assignment. So if you have to do anything as a son, put in mind, he vision ni amwenyewe si yako. Don't raise a team of rebellious people. Don't. Don't. There is a brother in this church, and I pray for him. One day, daddy called us. He was going to U.S. that time. He pulpit, he, nyumayake irikuwa vio. He, nyuma irikuwa vio. So when daddy gave us the assignment, that time we were 14 people. He told us, Alice, nataka hiyo kitu ibomolewe, iwe kwe chini, muweke mawe. We were in a meeting. We were more than 20 in that meeting. He office. He, sikuya waku wa meenda uko. He office. Immediately that he left, somebody said, haita fanyika. I was like, ah. Daddy he amesema, na unasema haita fanyika. I'll make sure I do it because he said it. He struggles today. I look at him and I remember. He rebelled. When he say move, move. Ulisa kwenye unaeda whether you are moving. We move to. Umulisa ke daddy ulisema niya. Ali niambia ni mebe message. Mie sine, mie sine. Ata sayi ame niambia ni kastuka. Mie sine. Prepare. Nasita kuabia ni lini. Prepare yourself. I prepared. Nakaanga tu na wapo. Ata sikini mwisa dadi, I cannot go anywhere. I don't travel. I can go to out for mission because dadi ali niabia. Any Sunday, I can call you. Joyce is a witness. Na muambia gatu edi bahali. Dadi told me to prepare. Any time, any Sunday, anaesa niita. So from next Sunday, I can go now where I want. But I have never failed to come for a service because I know I have an assignment. Na sijui nilini. Ata ni usa mungu, nitabeba hii message mpaka lini. Ani niambia, nita kuambia sayote, four months ago, hakuna sande na kosanga kanisa, because I don't know when he can call me. 
but I was prepared. When he said, move, move. Don't create a rebellion. Ati hata kama alisema, atukutafanya, aa. If you are a son in the house, you must be submissive. You have no choice. You don't have a choice. They submitted. They were equipped because of their submission. They spoke in different languages. As they remained united, the Spirit of God came upon their lives and they spoke in different languages. As sons, we are called differently. We have different talents. We have different graces. But we need each other. When you look at the cleaning department, our Bagusangi Viti, I have been with them. They clean and they go. There is another department that comes in of ushering. Wanapanguza na wanapanga. That is what God is calling us to do. How wamepewa neema ya mugongo ya kuinama. Kuna wengine wamepewa neema ya kupanga viti mukae venye mumeka. That is what I'm talking about. Complimenting each other. Complimenting each other. We need each other. We need each other. We need to walk with each other. And as I finish, I'm telling you I'm finishing. <laughs> we look at each other. There's somebody I love. I love Dr. Scholar. She always asks you a question. How are you? Na naona una shida. So na jiko mtu anakuangalia naona kana mimi sikai shida. Si ni kweli, niko na shida mingi. But kuna mtu anaweza patana naye mpaka umuulize, wewe ni mgonjwa? Sababu sura ya nyameka hiyo siku Na muangalia I love my dad Tia ukigia office ya daddy Na ingianga bila appointment Ukigia tu Anakuabia yes Alice Pekenya yote lukua nayo umalisia hapo Useme kenya kirikupereka Sura ya nyewe The words in themselves will tell you I have better business to do Fanya raka Tutu now you can speak what you want. <laughs> you are free. You are free. But he always listens to me. Even those circumstances, Ajayi nifukusa hata siku moja. He's a very good idea. I salute you. I love you. Ajayi nifukusa. But sula yenye atakupatia, you weigh your words. You weigh your words. That is the life of Skora. Aki kuangalia tu hivi, Alice, how are you? I love Joyce. He's very dear to me. Tukipata na ye tauni tu, ananiambia, are you alright? Because you don't look like yourself. Why? They have counseling in themselves. Counseling iko dani yao. Hiyo gift yao, hiyo diyo kipawa yao. That's why you don't find them washing the church. Lakinu kimaliza, you can find her and tell you, come, I will embrace you. What is going on with you? Gifts, talents. Zawana in church. Amen. Are we one? Because when we remain one, the people who will be joining us, what when you are Takuja, they will find us in our own place, in our own languages. They will be able easily to join us. They will be easily joining us. At the oh, kuna cleaning department. Na mi napendaka kuosha kanisa. Hata ulisa cleaning department in nani, he will just simply join in. That is what unity does. That is what coexistence does. But it has to take you to be a son. It has to take you to be a son. And because of all that they did, they were able to give birth to the church. The revival we talk about, the evangelism we talk about, cannot be a gift if we don't take a place of unity and we don't take a place IVC as sons. As sons. So for us to go to the next level as IVC as sons, for us to move to the next level as sons, we must remain united. We must acknowledge other people's gift. And when all is said and done, we must submit to the authority God 
has given us. We must. It is not a choice. It is a must. You must submit to the vision of this house. Daddy Alipewa script. When we went to visit her, there's something that he said that has really touched my heart. That Mungu aliabia Musa nijenge lakini hakumuambia venye itajengwa. He was bringing people to do that work. As sons, we are grief. Wave, wave if you are a son. If you are a son, just wave. Wave. Here, wave, I want you to assure one thing. We have been brought here to develop this place. They were given the vision. It is us to develop this place. Why? They are a seed. They water us. For you to be a fruit, they must plant you. It is that simple. For you to be a fruit outside. For me to know God has called me to teach the word of God. We are somewhere and we are sharing a word. Na mokorino. Mokorino mze tu ivi. You know, people believe that Eve had sex in Garden of Eden. What do I call here? Myth. But that's not the truth. That is not the truth. So I stood up and told him, Daddy, you are old, but I differ. I explained. Because I talk some of the yako vizuri. Men, when Eve alikuwa nakura hiyo matuda, walikuwa meka na Eve, Adam alikuwa hapo seated. Read your Bible very careful. Ha kumu perekea? Ah ah. If the Alieta kutoa kwa muti, lakini setani akiwanenea, Adam was there. Adam was sitting next to Eve. Read your Bible. Very well. But what made God annoyed with Adam? Sababu Adam the Alikuwa mepewa mona. When we shared with that man, that man looked at me and asked you, where where? Baba yako ya kiroho ni nani? Unaida kanisa wapi? Nikamwambia naida kanisa IBC. Baba yako ya kiroho ni nani? Ni Rikavo, amekurea vizuri. A fruit for you to submit there. For you to become something and for your fruit to be seen outside. Your submission is very important. At the key. God bless you. Thank you. One, two. Wow. The ten minutes just ended. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've listened to Alice and um, I told myself, I think this is what God wanted to tell the church. The media people have my notes, so I did, I did not play any trick on you. If you ask the media people, they have my notes for today. Um, so I was ready to preach. But I believe God has used Alice to speak some profound things to our hearts. Can we celebrate God for her? Come on, can we celebrate Alice? And Alice said, if you can, if you survive her for 25 years, you are called. <laughs> you know, you know we, we all have different characters. And many, some people are not even understanding who Alice is. Will but you guys remember those days? Alice, you know, very practical. She tells you the way it is. Let me read your scripture and then we close. Exodus chapter 35, verse 30. Exodus 35, verse 30. Alice just referred to that scripture. And then, then Moses said to the, to the Israelites, See, the Lord has chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he has done what? He has filled him with the spirit of God, with skill, ability, knowledge, 
in all kinds of what? Crafts. To make artistic designs for the work in the gold, silver, and bronze. To cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of artistic craftsmanship. And he has given both him and Oholiab, oh, 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 son of uh, um, son of who? Of the, of the tribe of Dan. The ability to teach others. He has filled them with what? Skill to do all kinds of work as craftsmen, designers, embroiderers in blue, he, purple and scarlet, yarn and fine linen, eh? weavers of of all of them, master, craftsmen, and what? Designers. All those words, all those qualifications, all those skills, none of them is given to Moses. I hope you understand. God said he wanted a tabernacle built. But he did not give Moses the craftsmanship, the skills, how to deal with purple and blue. God knew there will be people who are skilled in that. And together, Moses did not even touch the process. Those people did the work. And the work stands today. Because people came in and they were faithful. I want to invite you to come in and be faithful. All right? We have skills here. Thank you, Alice. I really appreciate it. Those of you who have never been to my office, after this, I'll, I'll go to my office. I'd like you to come and see my office. If you have never been there. Now, if you leave, and you've never, you've never been there, you love the... Uh, maybe, <laughs> you ask yourself why. You visit Mama's office, you visit the lounge. A lot of fixing of stuff here. And, and Alice does not begin because she has money. At times she says, I have only this little money. Let me begin with this and see how far we go. The painting going on, if you walk the corridor, parents, as you pick your children, you see some parts are painted, others are not yet. And she says, I'll do it. Please, God gives vision for himself. But he brings people together to fulfill it. All right? When I joined Pastor Lai in 1988, the church was very small, less than 200 people. And the Lord told me, I brought you here to hold this man's hands. Kulukwana Vita Vita. Some people wanted to even us to abandon Lai. And they took me for lunch and told me, I told them I didn't come to a denomination, I came to support. And that's why we're still friends up to now. Because we just, Janet and I did our part very effectively. For me to leave Mombasa was not easy. I was taken for dinner by elders, the pastor, and they said, you cannot go. I said, no, me, I'm going. You can't. A few years later, they called me and said, you must come back. Please come back. I even quit my job to go back. But the Lord spoke to me and said, no. I'll do what I want to do with you here. That kind of a spirit is what is important. We solve big problems. Are you blessed this morning? We deal with big issues and thank you uh, for that. So, God gives vision and then he raises people to, to carry them out. I can testify, Dan, let me just say that. I... I there are some things we are working on in the hospital. And I told this younger generation, you keep talking to these people. Keep talking to these friends of mine. And from their conversations, yesterday we bought an ambulance. Four million. Four million. Somebody somewhere, because of a conversation of a younger generation. 
And somebody said, okay, I'm going to pay for that, 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 uh, that ambulance. I think it should be in Eldoret today. It's on the way coming from Mombasa. Not the one you, you buy and modify. No, it came from abroad as an ambulance. Even with oxygen chamber, na, na mutungi ya oxygen dani na kitanda. Na vitu vyote dani. It's arriving today. Through their conversations, we are, all, we are getting a doctor who is going to be on the mountain full time. Now, I'm not even there. I'm not there. So if you had given up on the way, don't give up. You're, you're closing your doors. You're closing your doors. Let's push this together. We are stronger together, isn't it? We are stronger together. We are stronger together because God is faithful. Can you stand on your feet? We want to pray. With a melody, you surround me. You surround me with a song of deliverance. Of deliverance from my enemy. Till all my fears are gone. One more time. Unravel me with a melody. With a melody, you surround me. You surround me with a soul of deliverance. Of deliverance from my enemy. From my enemy.
me just take a moment and tell God, just make me useful. Make me useful in the kingdom. Let my life leave a mark on this earth. Let somebody's life change because of me. Let there be joy because of me. Let there be a celebration somewhere because of me. Let there be an answer to a problem because of me. Let there be a solution to a challenge because of me. Just ask God to break limits. God can enable you to break every limit this morning. All kinds of limits can be broken. They can all be broken. You can do it. You can do it. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lamb of God. And Father, we pray this morning that if there be any kind of fear in our hearts, you deal with it. Lord, I pray this morning that you will give us grace and encouragement. We have heard your word this morning that is, we can sort out issues, we can solve problems. Where, as long as there is a will in our hearts, resources are not the issue. You provide where there is a willingness. And so I pray this morning that none of us will miss opportunity. Opportunity to serve you effectively and to make a difference. Thank you. Thank you for being faithful in Jesus' name. Let's all say amen. Thank you very much. Thank you.